Horn, Bren, and now for Toots in the 305. Low Key, one of the producers we work with, he uh, supplied the track for The Crown, and uh, working with him was awesome because he gave us just basically um, a great concept. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was bare bones enough to where we could take it, we could add strings, we could layer it, uh, we, could, we could make a concept that felt great, and, um, and just baby, and pump it up from there. My experience working on the Danger album was actually very enlightening. You know, I had to deal with a lot of challenges and new things because of the way they did their album. You know, they worked with multiple producers, they had live drums combined with electronic drums, string sections. In regards to lyrics, Angel and I, we sat down, we brainstormed, and uh, we, we pretty much, you know, came together and formed a mastermind. Music is basically the closest thing you could feel to being in another world or another planet. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I'm in music. I, you know, I know that that's there. Um, it's, it's, it's so powerful that um, it's incredible. Um, and basically, that's why, that's why I do it. Um, I think I do better out there. So, I, you know, if there's any comments or whatever, you know, I'll just communicate with you guys out there. But we'll give you directions from out there. All right, great job. I thought we were starting at 55 or whatever. So do you want to start four bars before they come in? Or whatever, two. Or whatever. Two bars before they come yeah. in? Okay, they're gonna, it's going to start two bars before they come in. Uh, one day Mo called me, um, and he's, he's a percussionist in the band. He called me and he suggested that we uh, put strings on this particular song, The Crown. And I thought it was a great idea. I've worked with strings in the past, and I wrote out the parts. we got some great players in here from UM. I think. What Nate did with the, uh, the strings, uh, I mean, that, that came out awesome. Okay, I'm Ariane Urban and I play the violin. Amanda Diaz and I play viola. My name is Chris Young and I play the cello. Sam, and uh, as Angel says, Uncle Sam. Recording today, uh, it was, uh, first of all, it was a surprise because this was like a last minute thing and I came in here and I heard the song and I fell in love with it. I had so much fun improvising and it was a great arrangement. I really enjoyed it. Um, this is kind of something new for me. I've done a couple other more um, uh, mainstream pop um, recordings, but this was a lot of fun. It's so awesome. The energy here is so cool. Like. It's so positive and everybody's having fun. It's all about it's all about the music. It is the dangerously contagious music of Danger Flow. Deco hung out with the duo at Miami Beat Wave Studios. Hip hop fusion band Danger Flow recently released their new album and they're here to share it with us today. We have vocalist Angel Ocean and Eric Sinet joining us. Welcome guys. Great to have you here. Jason Jackson here with you and not alone. Back in the studio celebrating another Miami Heat playoff victory. There are a lot of bands in Miami, but I only have one favorite band. My guy from Danger Flow. The song is just, it just has so much fire in it, so much power, so much energy. And you feel it. You feel it from the, from the drums to the lyrics. And playing that song live, it's just, it, it just creates an electricity in the air. You want all that stuff that we experience making the music uh, for the fans to experience themselves. You know, we just wrapped a crazy session. Chris, Sam, Amanda, Ari, flaming strings. Hey, you heard it first. Miami B-Wave, Danger Flow. 